home today rather than at the church for this reflection. And we are approaching All Saints Day. And the readings for All Saints Day are, are quite poignant readings, but one of them is the Beatitudes, which is always wonderful to talk about. Blessed are the poor, blessed are the those who thirst and hunger for righteousness. And the other is the story of the people of Israel entering the Promised Land. The third, or one of the third, re the third reading, or one of the extra readings, is Psalm 107. And there's a line in there. Um, it's speaking of how, how. Well, first of all, before I quote the line, it's speaking of how God will actually leave the well-fed and um, wealthy and powerful, um, leave them hungry, and will satisfy the thirst of those who are thirsty fill those who are hungry. It echoes Mary's um, proclamation of uh, uh, the discovery that she's going to bear the Messiah. Um, and it echoes the words of Samuel's mother uh, in the same way, uh, proclaiming, uh, turning around the justice that will come. God will satisfy the hungry, fill them, and uh, bring bring water, bring and satisfy the thirst of those who are thirsty. I don't know if uh, you feel the same way, but as we go through this long, uh, drawn out pandemic, seems long and drawn out from our perspective. Um, I think I would say I'm thirsty, thirsty to uh, gather, thirsty to be back in community. I hunger to know friendship in, in the real way of being face to face. I hunger um, for to worship together with all of you. That will be part of my the subject. We're present sending out a newsletter in the next week or so, and my message is around that the weariness of it all. But here is the promise in the psalm that God will satisfy that thirst fill that hunger now it's not that the psalmist at the time uh, uh, was experiencing that it wasn't that God the psalmist was witnessing that God was fulfilling the hunger and satisfying the thirst it was declaration of what could be and should be and uh, in the midst of the of the in the midst of the being denied what our heart really wants, um, to hear the words of the psalmist might be reassuring. It's going to come about. It's going to change. God will satisfy our thirst. God will fill our hunger, a hunger for community, a hunger for each other, a hunger to worship, a hunger to be together again. The world is not going to come out this out of this pandemic the same. There's going to be dramatic changes, even changes in our own behavior. Um, what will it be like the first time we are allowed to embrace in public, in the community, in the church, shake hands, be close to one another, sing with a full gusto of our, our lungs blowing out this, the song and the tunes and the tones, but whether we're off key or not, just singing with great gusto and joy. What will that be like? Can you imagine the psalmist saying, there will be a time when you will gather as the people of God, as the followers of Christ, and you will sing your joy for being together. That God's love will um, bubble out of you as you join together as the people of God. The time will come. I, you know, I feel like Half my messages are just saying that. Uh, wait, the time will come. The time will come. The promise is made. The promise will come. We'll get the vaccine. We'll get this happen. That happen. Time, time will heal it all, and we'll be able to gather. But isn't that the message we need to hear? Go read the Psalms. You'll see that that message comes over and over and over again, as the as the psalmist write the promise, um, the promise to come. So hold on to that today. 
that God has promised to bring us back together. It may not be in our time. Uh, it may not be in, our, in the time in a timely manner in which we really would like, but we will be gathering again as God's people. So we take care of our church, we take care of our relationships, we take care of one another, we reach out and, and connect as best we can in these times because we know that we'll be gathering as God's community once again, as the people of Jesus, as the people of Christ, as the body. Blessings, my friends. Thank you.